let's have a look at some foreign exchange terminology then. So you might hear the word spot rate. That just means the current rate that's available immediately. You'll see spreads, and that's how banks make their money by buying and selling the foreign exchange. So you'll see when you get offered foreign exchange, they often give you a range, a spread. And it's within that spread that the banks make money. Now, if we were in the UK, then that's how it is normally shown in the indirect method, where you've got one UK pound, and then the foreign exchange is shown around that one UK pound. And we call that the indirect method. You'll hear me call it the normal method because that's how it's normally shown. The home currency is one, the foreign currency moves around it. Now, as that's the normal way round, what you do is you take your foreign currency and you just divide it by the rates. That's what you do when giving it the normal way round. And you might say to yourself, yeah, but the foreign currency might be dollars here. Which rate do I use? Do I use the 1.5 or the 1.6? Well, if it's a receipt, you use the one on the right. The R's go together on a normal, when it's shown normally, when it's shown the indirect method. So you'd receive on the right. So that's all the normal method, but what if it's not normal, the spread? So when it's like that, when the dollar is one, the foreign currency is one, and your currency is the one going around the dollar. So we call this, if you're in the UK, we call this the direct method, okay? You'll hear me call it the not normal method because it's not normally shown that way. And so everything's the other way around. So this time you take your foreign currency, your foreign dollars, and you'd multiply it by the rate that's given. And then you say, well, which rate would I use, the 0.63 or the 0.67? Well, remember, normally the R's go together, you receive on the right. Well, this is not normal. So you receive on the left, you would times it by 0.63 to get to what you want to receive.